In this video, I'd like to talk about the angle of complex numbers. And for this example problem, we have the complex number z is equal to 4 plus 3i. And we need to find the angle theta, which is in radians, that z, this complex number, makes in the complex plane. And this angle will be relative to the real number line. And to start this problem, it will be useful to graph this point on the complex plane. So let me quickly paste in a complex plane. And this number z has a real part of 4 and an imaginary part of 3i. So z is right about here on the complex plane. And if we want, we can represent this number z as a vector. So let's draw a line or an arrow from the origin to this complex number z, this point right here. And we could find the length of the line, which we learned in a previous video is the modulus or the absolute value of the complex number z. But to find the angle, we are measuring the angle relative to the real axis, the positive real axis. So this angle, theta, is right here. And we'll need to use trigonometry to determine the size of this angle. And to do this, we need to construct a triangle. We can use right triangle trigonometry. So let's drop a vertical line that is perpendicular to the real axis. And we can construct a horizontal line that is parallel to the real axis. And the length of this vertical line would be 3. And the length of this horizontal component would be 4. So when using trigonometry, we can use our SOHCAHTOA to determine which trig function we want to use. And relative to this angle theta, we have the side length that is opposite it. So this is the opposite side length, and we have the side length next to theta, which we call the adjacent side. Now, if we wanted, we could also determine this hypotenuse, since this is the familiar 3, 4, 5 right triangle, but we mainly just need the imaginary part and the real part. And from here, since we have the opposite and the adjacent, we can use the tangent function. Since remember that the tangent of an angle is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. And we can plug in our numbers here so that we have the tangent of the angle is equal to the opposite, which is 3, divided by the adjacent side, which is 4. Now from here, we need to solve for the angle theta. And to get theta by itself, we essentially need to take an inverse tangent of each side of the equation. Since remember that if we plug a function of theta inside of its inverse function, then the function and the inverse function essentially cancel each other out, and we just get back this independent variable. So let's do that. We can plug the tangent function inside of the inverse tangent function, and we do this on both sides of the equation. And over here on the left-hand side, the tangent and the inverse tangent essentially cancel each other out, so that we get theta is the inverse tangent of 3 fourths. And for this, we need to use a calculator. And one important point, since we want our answer to be in radians, we need to make sure our calculator is in radian mode. And once we know it's in radian mode, we can just plug in the inverse tangent of 3 fourths to get an approximate answer, since this answer will be an irrational number, so the calculator will just have to round it. And once you evaluate this on the calculator, you will get 0 0.6435, but we're rounding to the nearest thousandth. So we will round up to 0 0.644. And again, the units on this is radians.